been approached by a company called Hit and Mix that makes some music software called RipX and they've asked me to try the software out and do a review of it. So I've been using it for a little while and I've got to say the results from this, this software, I'm so impressed with it. It's an AI software, so the basics of it is that you can load up any audio track into it or you can record straight in a final CD, whatever format you want, and it will analyze that music and then separate it down into each individual instrument. There's other software that does this, but I honestly think the results from this seem to be a lot more, a lot more realistic sounds uh, and it's more accurate. So it will save each instrument individually, so you can save drums, the bass, the vocals, piano, guitar, all separately. And you might, why would you want to do that? You might want to do it for doing DJ mixes. So you might want to remove the vocals off a track um, and use that for scratching with as like an acapella. You might want um, to use it for sampling. So you might have a track that you really want to use but there's drums playing over it and you want to use it without those drums. So I'm going to show you on the computer and uh, give you a demo through some of the basic features of it and um, explain it in a bit more detail. So this is the basic screen within the program, the RipX. So the way it works, you just go onto File and Open, just browse, find the file that you want to open up and just click on open now because i've already done this it's coming up with this message here that i've already done it um, so just so you can see the options i'm going to click on to no so you can see it for quickest results just select what you need but you've got voice other sounds and instruments you've got separate guitars and piano uh, highest quality you've got bass and then you've got drums and percussions it's saying this is going to take 10 minutes but it was a lot quicker on my computer. Uh, it didn't take anywhere near that. And then you will just click on to rip, but I'm just gonna click cancel because I've already done it. So this is what it looks like. It looks a bit crazy on the screen, but you'll understand in more detail shortly. So if I just play this, you can hear it. So you can see on the left hand side here, you can solo the voice there. Okay, I can mute the voice. So, all the different options here. I've got the bass here, so I'll solo the bass. You can hear that just on its own. And on the left here, on the piano keyboard, it's showing you the actual notes that are being played. So if you want to learn how to play that. We've got the the drums here, so I can take the drums out of it completely. Or I can just solo the drums just to hear the drums on their own. And then other. So you've got complete control over it here. Um, so what I'm going to show you here is just how you export all of those. So file, and then you go on to export. Um, and you can see here, there's loads of different options here. It's set to WAV format, which is the one I'm gonna use. But if I go into that menu, you've got FLAC, MIDI, MIDI notes, MP3. So all the different formats you might wanna use. Um, you can have it have as a full rip, but to just export it as one file. Um, and I actually want to have it as here as separate stems. So it will save separate files for each individual sound and then just click export. I've already actually done that, so I'm just going to back out. And if I go into it here, just go into the folder it's made, and you see four different ones there. So I've got the bass. Okay, drums on their own. So I'll just move it on because it don't start straight away. And then the other. I 
and then just the vocals on their own. Okay, so another file I've got here um, is actually one file saved but without the actual vocals on it. So it's just like an instrumental of it. Okay, so I'm going to come back to that file later. Okay, so some of the other things you've got on here, if I just go back and I'm going to apply this to the whole track, so on the master, but you can do it for individual th things. You've got all these different options here to do with the pitch. Um, so I'm going to just play the track and we'll go through these and uh, have a check, see what they do. So you can hear pitch to scale. Okay, the quantized pitch. Some of them work better than others. This one really, really changes. Yeah, vibrato. Yeah, you probably wouldn't use them as extreme as I'm showing. But I just wanted to show you some of the different options that you can do with it. So you've really got, you've got so much control over the audio on here. Yeah, harmony, so it's, and chords. So if we just stop that. One other really good thing is you can change the stereo. Pan it left and right, alter the low, mid and high for each one. So on the voice, if I was using it for scratching, um, I would tend to try and filter out the low end of it. It just comes out cleaner when you're actually using it for scratching. So I take that right down. I've actually already done it for this particular track because it's one of my own. Um, but yeah, if you can just go into each individual thing and alter that. Okay, so what I've done here, I've used the original track that I made where I've removed the vocals from it. So I've just got the instrumental and I've loaded that into Serato on this right turntable. Okay, and on the left, I've just got some vocals that I want to use for scratching. My style is the best, best, best. So let's have a listen to what it sounds like. My style is the best, best, best. Okay, so that's it. I hope you found the video useful and definitely go onto the RipX website, download a free trial of it and give it a go for yourself. Thanks. Thanks.